Good morning. This is our last morning in Sevilla, Spain. We have just a few hours here in Spain, really. We are a couple minutes away from calling an Uber to the airport, and then we're going to take a very quick flight to Porto, Portugal. So wish us a happy travel day, and we'll see you on the other side. Just got off the uh, metro here in Porto, Portugal, and now we're lugging our suitcases across town to um, get to our Airbnb. We've set our stuff down in our cute little lofty Airbnb and we're really tired and really hungry so we're walking around the corner with what strength we have left to the grocery store. And we're going to grab some lunch and some breakfast stuff and some snacks and hang out. We were planning to go to the train station later to get tickets for Lisbon. I think we're going to do that tomorrow. We're tired. We're just zapped. But um, onward to food. Got our groceries. We got the goods. Yay. <laughs> We're stocked up. We got peanut butter and yeah. jelly and beans. Yogurt that like a brand that we recognize and love. Like little wins, man. It makes us feel kind of homey. Yep. Bon dia. We are in Porto, Portugal finally get out of the house for our first full day here. We're gonna make a quick pit stop at the big train station to pick up some tickets to get to Lisbon later. But after that, we're gonna go out and explore the day. Today happens to be Portugal day, a national holiday for the entire country. So we're gonna see if that has any effect on crowds or if there's celebrations going on maybe. We'll see, we've got lots to explore. I 
did last minute research to switch what station we were pulling into so we could be actually in the city center. So I'm glad I figured that out. And super easy. We just show up, wait in line, get our tickets for Thursday. But now we're good to go and I feel a lot better. made our way to the Say Cathedral here um, just maybe 100 meters from the train station and it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. I thought it'd be over the cathedral churches by now but it's a different architectural style and I really like it. It's only three euro to get in. I don't think we're gonna go in this time but it looked truly gorgeous so definitely give it a, a look when you're here and we're gonna spend the rest of the time maybe walking down to the water. going to this bridge that we saw that kind of crosses over the river from the north side to the south side of Porto and it looked pretty neat. It's going over the river and it's pretty high up so we're hoping for a really good view. So glad that we decided to go on the bridge. This has got to be the best view in Porto. That gives me the heebie-jeebies, but it's pretty. Yeah, we're pretty high up, and it's kind of windy. So apologies for the wind if it's if it's quite windy. But this is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Thank you. 
about wraps up our first full day here in Porto and I was pleasantly surprised. Like, I was pretty amazed at everything it has to offer. First, I didn't know what we were kind of like getting into. I didn't think there was much for this place to offer, but. We're staying in a very yeah. residential area, so we finally got into town and boom, there was Porto. It's awesome. Yeah. What do you think of the, uh, the bookstore? The bookstore, um, the Librera, Leia or something like that. Yes, I, think so. I can see how it's not for everyone. It's a small bookstore and it's very popular and crowded, but truly is beautiful. It's a quick in and out, it's five euro a person. And for the sort of little bits of Harry Potter, I'm with it. Like I had to go. The you know? whimsical charm. Yeah, even if it's just a rumor that it inspired Hogwarts, I had to check it out. I had to go. It's here. I'm here. I liked it. So that's a wrap. You did have to speed. You did. I did.